I'm Joshua Carrillo, and this is Michael. Yo! <laughs> what? You seem to have a lot of energy. Yeah. You, know, you started this, the, the, the show like, Hey kids! Yo, yo, yo! In a hot cup of cocoa! <laughs> okay. Well, you have energy too. I do? Yes. I had a lot of cup. Oh, okay. Nice. Of course. So before we start the show, like we do always, kids, uh, we're gonna pray! So, oh, wait, wait, wait. We have to tell them what the lesson is going to be about. Okay. It's going to be about uh, Jesus and the centurion's servant. Yes. Yes. Jesus heals the centurion's servant. Mm -hmm. Very good. I see you have been reading the, the Bible stuff. Yes. Did you? Ah, uh, no. Oh, okay. But that's okay. I'll catch that's up okay. while you're praying. I can't read it. Uh, okay. So I'm praying? Sure. Okay. Thank you, Lord, for this day. Thank you for everything you have given us. I thank you for this great day and all these kids that are here and the ability that we have to talk to them about the Word of God. In the name of Jesus, I pray. Amen. Amen. And kids, don't forget to like and subscribe and hit that bell notification, yes. which should sound like this. Like how? You. Okay. Uh, I actually different on people's phones so well, just do something Bing. that's a terrible bell okay it should sound like it. this Bing. that was way much better <laughs> it's the exact same thing do it again <laughs> what type of ethnic bell was that uh that is my sci-fi bell anyway kids remember if we hit 50 subscriptions joshua is going to sing a song no Yes, you no will. Sing. We're already like almost at 40 subscriptions. No. And you're going to sing probably no. next week because we're going to hit 50 subscribers, right, kids? I can't hear you. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I can hear all the kids. You can? Yes. I have super hearing vision. You can, you can, what? I have super hearing vision. I don't think it works like that, but okay. Sure. That's my superhero power. Okay. It's time to go to the song. Uh -huh. And today's song is absolutely amazing. Really? Because I wrote it, made it, and produced it, and videotaped everything. Uh, did you really? Not really. Okay. But let's pretend I did and enjoy uh, the song. Don't pretend you did. <laughs> okay, don't pretend you did, but still enjoy the song. Yes. Okay, kids. We'll be back.
that song was almost as epic as a peanut butter jelly sandwich. Yes! Peanut butter jelly sandwich! <laughs> <laughs> Are you okay then, Mikey? Ah, uh, ah, uh, the new department uh, 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 yeah. You see, that song had me, had me going crazy. Uh huh. It's such a great song. It is. And it was made me jump, and the the, the beat was like. Boom, 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 boom. <laughs> it sounded epic. Yes. And now I need to calm down. Yes, we all need to calm down. Okay, I don't know what that was, but okay. That's me doing yoga. Um, Stretches. Oh. Yes. Now I've stretched and I can sit properly. Okay, well, I have a question for you. Can you guess what the question is? Well, of course, of course, yes. Yeah, go. It's time to register <laughs> ourselves for school. Uh, well. I guess. Because school is going to start next year and we're all probably going to be there and we need to be start registering soon. Yeah. Okay. But that's not what it is. Time for. Do you know what time it is for? Ah. For real? That was for real. Ah, school already started. Yeah, it kind of did. Who in the heck was that? <laughs> what was that? Did you hear that voice? Yes. A ghost. Of course you did. <laughs> That voice was angelic. <laughs> I'm like, I've heard that voice before. One time I was praying and it talked to me. <laughs> and it said to me, What are you doing? What? <laughs> okay, what's, what, what are we actually doing next? It's a Bible study. Yes, of course. Uh, that's my line? No. Stop stealing my lines. Kids are already saying, Of course, of course, yes, yes. They say that and they're already wearing on a shirt. You press a button in the shirt and it says yes, of course, of course. What? Yeah, kids, thank you for sponsoring my shirt. Uh, you don't have a shirt. Anyways, kids, it's time to go to the Bible story. Okay, let's go. Jesus heals the servant of a Roman officer. A miracle that Jesus did. One day, an officer of the Roman army came to Jesus and asked him for help. My servant is sick and will probably die soon. Jesus offered to come to his house and see the servant, but the officer declined. I am not worthy for you to enter my house. He knew that Jews were not allowed to be in the house of a person with another faith. He continued, I know that you have the power to heal my servant without even touching him. Jesus was impressed by the great faith of the officer. In all of Israel, I have not found a man with a faith this huge. Go, your servant is healed. In that moment, the officer's servant was completely healed. Yeah! That was a great educational experience. You know what I learned? What? That just like the Roman soldier, he told Jesus, you have power to say something, and it happened. Uh-huh, that's true. Actually, in the last, uh, in the previous episodes, if you have been paying attention, which I hope you have, uh, you will notice that uh, there's a lot of cases where God will say something, and it will happen. Yes. And so the Roman soldier came up to Jesus and says, say the words, and it's going to happen, and my servant will be healed. And Jesus said, your faith is amazing! Yep, he uh, actually was um, uh, impressed by the centurion's faith. Yes, many times I think Jesus is impressed with my faith. Uh, you sure? Yes, he comes to that, to, to my room and then he says, Wow, Mikey, your faith is amazing! Wow, when's the last time that happened? In my dreams. Mm, oh, okay, I don't know. I don't know if it's real, okay. but it feels real in my heart. <laughs> okay, uh, I don't know if that counts, but all right. So yeah, uh, like I was saying, there's a lot of cases where God says something and it happens, like when Jesus calmed the storm when everybody was on the boat. Kind of like when I say to you, shh. No. It happened. You stood <laughs> quiet for a little second, and then you broke your your side. Um. Okay, I mean, I guess that's the same-ish. And no, God has the same power. 
more power than that. Yes, of course. He has the power to heal, he has the power mm -hmm. to save, and he has the power to do a lot of other things. Yeah, anything you can really think about, as long as it makes sense and it doesn't obstruct other people. Of course, God is not going to do something that just because you said, let's bring awesome new animals to Earth, doesn't mean it's going to happen though. I would like to see a Triceratops. That would be cool, but would it make sense to bring one back? Maybe not. <laughs> but you know, the Word of God is the Word of God. Mm -hmm. Sounds kind of funny, double Word of God. But the Bible, every time you read the Bible and it says Jesus said something, that has power. Yeah, and that's why they always in the Bible mark it as red. So you know when uh, Jesus is speaking. Yeah. So kids, when you read the Bible, make sure all the promises are there. And God was going to keep his promise. Because he's a way maker, miracle worker, promise keeper. Yeah. I wrote that. Mm, I'm pretty sure you did. Oh, uh, okay. Whatever then. What do we do next? It is time for missions. Ooh, Kids, where are we I going? hope you're enjoying the mission time because Wes has been traveling all over the place teaching us about different countries. And today's uh -huh. country is McDonald's. Uh, <laughs> what? It's macadamia nuts. Um, uh, do you know the actual name? Actually, Wes knows. So let's just go to him better. Okay, he's the professional. Yes, he's the professional. Let's go to West, please. Okay, children. Today, we're going to be learning about a country called North Macedonia. It's in Europe, and it's a very beautiful country. But I do have some interesting things to tell you about this place. So kids, pay attention. And I hope you've been enjoying all this time learning about the different countries and learning about the Church of the Nazarene in all these different countries. But first we're going to watch a beautiful video of how Macedonia looks like. So, hope you enjoy kids. see and do. But you know where this country is? It's in the middle of Europe, right beside Albania and Greece. And you know, as of last year, the country is now officially called North Macedonia. It used to be called Macedonia. But let's talk about the food. This is baked beans. It's tapche gravche. I hope I pronounced that right. But it tastes delicious. And then, this is I don't know if I said that right, but I do know it's just stuffed peppers with meat and it tastes delicious. And tulumba. I like saying that word. But all it is is just churros. Have you tasted churros before? 
But these are like little ones. Okay, remember I told you kids that there is something interesting I got to tell you? And we've been talking about the church in Nazarene and missionaries. This is one of the countries where there's no churches. Not officially churches yet. But there are a lot of missionaries there and a lot of house Bible studies and things that are going on. But we need a lot of prayer in this country. So kids, would you pray for North Macedonia? And pray that these people may have opportunity to accept Jesus in their hearts. All right, that was fun learning about Macedonia. Macedonia, yes. Yes. You know, kids, here's a quiz for you. Uh huh. What do they speak in Macedonia? Hmm. Who said English? I what? heard you. you got, who, who said English? Uh, I don't know. No, it's not English. Okay. Try again. So, Spanish? Mm. They don't speak Spanish. I mean, there's like a couple hundred miles of distance between yes. Spain and Macedonia. So, what they speak in Macedonia is, drum roll please, Macedonian. Wow, that's amazing. Yes. And that's don't copy my voice. That's almost as amazing as the English speaking English. <laughs> My head is gonna spin out again! Or the Spanish speaking Spanish. Uh, uh you okay, buddy? Uh, you, you don't tighten me properly. Well, how am I supposed to? This is like. When are you on keto? You're weak. <laughs> okay. Yes. So the Macedonians speak Macedonian, and in England they speak English. And in Mexico, they speak Mexican. Wait, that's not quite how it works, but okay. Um, I'll take it, sure. Yes. That was kind of cool with Wes. Yes. And what they're doing over there in Michigan. Mm hmm So now it's time to go to uh, most of the kids' favorite part of the show. Ooh, 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 let me guess, let me guess. What? It is airplane time. Yes. It... <laughs> uh, Does it look like I have money to be buying all the kids these airplanes in private jets? <laughs> no. Check me, I did your job of guessing the time wrong. Oh, I thought you were, my job was to be handsome. Prince. Because I was <laughs> gonna say you're doing it all wrong. Not like you were doing it any better though. Ah, uh, look yourself in the mirror. <laughs> anyway, kids, it's time for crafts. And today's craft is cool. We'll be right oh, yeah. back after these commercial messages. Uh, it's more like after craft time. We'll be right back after craft time. Yes. Hi kids and welcome to Craft Time. I'm Miss Nicole and I'm happy to be back with you. Uh, thank you all for joining us and today's craft is going to be fun. If you don't already have it, you can print it out with the link below. Or if you do want to have it mailed to your house, you need to sign up. So let's get started. Our craft today is going to be a Roman helmet. And it's going to remind us of uh, what happened in the lesson, the Roman soldier had great faith in Jesus. So let's get started. Okay kids, so what you're going to need is gonna be uh, some glue, some scissors, any kind of color material that you have. And the first thing that we do is we're going to color each, um, each part of the helmet and then we are going to cut, cut it out and then after that we are going to glue these three parts um, underneath the helmet. Okay.
Okay kids, I finished coloring my helmet, so now we are going to cut it and we're going to glue it. I finished coloring and cutting my helmet, so now let's glue it together. You're going to get the two pieces right here, put it underneath the helmet like this. And then you're gonna get these two pieces and put it underneath here. And then you're gonna grab the, this part and just at the corners, right, put it, just glue the ends. So that way this part is left up in the middle. Then your little feather is going to go on top right here. So let's glue it together. Okay kids, this is my finishing craft, my helmet. So now um, you could go ahead and get staple, tape, or glue the back to however it'll fit you and then you just put it on like this. And this is my helmet. I hope you had fun, I had fun, and I can't wait to see y'all next time. Bye! My name is Mimi, and I am going to tell you the Bible verse of today. Luke 1.37 For nothing will be impossible with God. Okay, now it's your turn to say it. For nothing will be impossible with God. Look, one thirty seven. Yay! <laughs> See you next time. Whoa, Mikey! I see you made the craft, and you're wearing it. I did. I did it with my bare hands. Uh huh. Wait, what? Uh. Oh yeah. Right here. Yes, yes. Remember, I don't have hands. Uh huh. But I do have a moving boat. Wow, that's amazing. So kids, I, I hope you enjoyed works. this craft. Yeah, I think they enjoy all the crafts. Yes. The only yeah. problem is that I think if I bow down, my helmet will fall. Uh, I, I think it would, yeah. Ow! Ah, what Ow! happened to it? That's okay. Your head is bald now. Uh, how dare you say it's bald? <laughs> it's a very tight shape. Uh, it's okay. It's a level one. Okay, sure. <laughs> I'll take that. It's got a fade. <laughs> I don't see that, but sure. So kids, I hope you're enjoying the craft time, but now it's time to go to song time again. Woo, song and like time. I said, song time is very jumpy jumpy, so get your boots and boots and boots and pants going on. Uh, okay, I was literally about to ask you what would you rate the song from 1 to 10? 1 to 10? Yeah. I would rate it 7. Okay. That's great. Because anything above seven is anything I write or sing. Uh, okay, sure. So what would you rate your own song from one to seven? A nine. 
All right, that makes complete sense. All right, that's good. I haven't written the perfect song. <laughs> okay, let's go. Where are we going? To song time, where are we going? Yes, yes, of course, of course, yes, song time, of course. I knew that, it was a trick question, or rewind it and fast forward it to now. so much that inside my um, hair, uh -huh. there's sweat. Oh, okay. And kids, I hope you're enjoying these songs. Yes. Did you say stunts or songs? I said songs. Oh, okay. okay. Clearly I said stunts. What? Songs. Oh, uh, you're confusing me. You're confusion. Okay. Well, that is the end of the show. <laughs> But we're gonna come back next week. <laughs> what? <laughs> you just reversed your crying. Uh, yes. I have the ability to go backwards. Oh, okay. okay. Backwards, I have the ability. Backwards, I have backwards, we have the ability. <laughs> okay, that's great. Um, Remember, yeah. I'm a microphone and I have special ability. True. I wonder what this one is. Don't touch it! 
many times have I told you that's my mute button? And every time you press that mute button, I stay quiet. And I don't like being quiet. Oh, then what's this other one? That one? Yeah. Hola, mi amigos. Este uh, es Mikey. Ahora en español. Uh, okay, cool. Por favor, regreseme al hablar en inglés, que necesito yo hablar en inglés. No. <laughs> Niños, ¿quién quiere que yo hable en inglés otra vez? There, let me put it by here, but all the way at the end. There. That's a different setting. Yes, it is a different setting. What? <laughs> you have changed the tone of my voice. Uh -oh. I'm back in English, but my tone is different. You know what, uh... kids? Let's just finish the show. Thank you for watching, and welcome back to the Central Kids Show. And I'm shrinking! I'm shrinking! Wow! <laughs>